This is how I make my MacBook edit smoothly even after four years by using proxies. At their core, proxies are just low resolution copies of your media. Their purpose is to make it easier to play back your timeline during editing. Because some cameras use tough codecs that are harder to read by your computer. And other cameras give you the option to record proxies simultaneously. It's important to note that you can share those proxies with your team members so you can work with the same proxies. And also, it's not necessary to create those proxies with DaVinci Resolve. For example, you can use Adobe Media Encoder and then use those proxies in Resolve. So for those with slower systems and those like me who are using their laptops, here are proxies in DaVinci Resolve. But let's first talk about the big problem or the big con when doing proxies in DaVinci Resolve. You can't use Resolve while creating them. So schedule accordingly, maybe leave them overnight or whatever. So first, let me tell you that you cannot be selecting a folder. For now, to make proxies, you have to select media. Now first go to your project settings, which is this gear icon over here, then master settings, scroll down to optimized media and render cache. And here you have your proxy media resolution. I guess this depends on your system. I will just choose half then proxy media format usually h.264 works but prores hq is even less compressed so it should be even easier for your system from here you can choose where you save those proxies so i would recommend or at least that's what i do to save those on an external ssd drive now i also save all of the files all the assets pretty much are on my ssd i pretty much don't leave anything on my laptop a lot of times the cache files as well and the proxies could stack up and create insane amount of files so i switch these to the ssd so i can have more space on my laptop so it works smoother. Then click save and you're good to go. Then all you have to do is select your files and generate proxy media. So now we have created our proxies and how do we know that we are going to use our proxies and not the original files? So go here at playback and then under proxy handling, you choose prefer proxies. And as you can see, these here are my proxy files. And now right here in the media pool, you can see which clips have proxies and which don't. You can also go to list view and right here on the column, you can enable the proxy media. And now you have a column which tells you if the video has proxies, what resolution and which doesn't. And don't forget that when coloring, proxies might look a little bit different from the original. So it's a good practice to disable them from time to time so you can tell exactly how your footage looks. Here you can subscribe, here you can watch another video. I was Mario, bye.